What's going on guys? It's your boy Pre Raptor. You hope you guys are having an amazing day slash night. Hope you guys are keeping well in these dark times. Hope you all are well. So today's video is something about the, this character. Something about this character Zafina, man. If she is unique in her own playstyle, and I I've never been attracted to how a character plays in Tekken more than Zafina does. Now. Zafina was out in Tekken 7 Season 3, so it, it, she came out recently. Keep in mind, for those of you who are new to Tekken, Zafina wasn't there in the earlier... Uh, when Tekken 7 started, so she wasn't there in Tekken 7 Season 1, Season 2, she came in Tekken 7 Season 3. So she's a new addition. Uh, before this, I was playing I was playing with Negan, I was playing with Noctis, etc. But I've never felt a more of a connection with the character than Zafina has. Probably due to probably due to her uh, weird playstyle, due to her... Look at this man, I mean, seriously, Tarantula stance? Uh, uh, tarantula stance, what is the stance called? Mantis stance and Scarecrow stance? God damn. Everything about this character seems unique. The the way she's the way she's just stationary position right now, it feels like she is constantly in the constantly doing something, right? So people are mostly thrown off guard by her character playstyle. You don't see a lot of Zafinas offline or uh, online as far as I've seen. So I've, I've rarely come across Zafinas. And, and people who do play Zafinas are really good with her, like, they are really good with Zafinas. So, Zafina has been my main in Tekken 7 Season 3, right? And I recently got her in Tekken, uh, to Tekken God Prime, not recently, maybe like a month before, and she's the only one I got in Tekken God Prime, which I wanted to get, get her on, and I've finally accomplished that mission. Uh, will I get other characters in Tekken God Prime? Maybe, we'll see. But for now, I'm satisfied with having Zafina on Tekken God Prime, and she's been my main. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I play with Zafina. This is not more of a uh, this is not more of a tips, right? This is this is more of how let's say how you would level up with Zafina in ranks, right? If you want to play Zafina, if you want to start with playing with Zafina, this is how I started with playing with Zafina. I have I when Zafina came out, keep in mind I had I didn't look at any tips, I didn't look at any combos. These are all my own combos, my own playstyle. Every Zafina player has a different playstyle on how or how he or she plays Zafina, right? So this is this is how I play her in my own style. So I'm gonna show you some of the things I do, how how I get in with her. Uh, I mean, how I get in with her in in terms of moves and uh, what I do in terms of punishes and stuff like that. What moves I constantly use and how I use them. All right, let's start with her um, back dash. So Zafina Zafina has one of the best back dashes in the game. In par with Eddie, right? I mean, look at this. You can just backdash your problems away with Zafina, right? So if you're if you're in doubt, my, my backdash is not the best. It's decent, but those of you who have really good uh, backdash, if you pick this character, she's all about the moment. You, you gotta be constantly moving with Zafina. You gotta keep in mind. You gotta be constant constantly in move with Zafina. So you can't stay in one place. So Zafina is a is fully based on agility. So everything you do depends on your agility and how you play her well. I can't tell how you guys should play Zafina, that's for you to decide, but this is how I do it. So, constantly in move, backdash, uh, play in range 0, range 1. Um, so, how how do you get in with Zafina? Like, how do you start with Zafina? So basically, this is what I do. This is how, this is how I how, this is how I close my gap. This is a really good move, and it's called, it's the 4-4-3-4. Four, four, four. It's 21 frame mid-mid starter. Keep in mind, this move can be sidestepped. It's minus 11 on block, which means that it can be punished. It can't be launch punished, but it can be punished. It can be punished. But here's the good part about it, right? Mostly, most of the people, most of the people online, and especially in lower ranks, they mostly get hit by 4, 4, 3, plus 4. And even if they don't, you can do 4, 4, 3, plus 4 and go down into Mantis Stance, right? So you have different mix up options. So if they try to attack you, if, if, if it's highs and shit like that, uh, it, she crushes it and basically you get a lot of different mix-ups. I, I basically kept Jin on block right now to show you guys how the frames work and shit like that. But I will show you some of the sample combos at the end of the video if you guys want to stick around to see that. But I've already made some videos. You guys want to check it out. I actually made a video on Zafina's combos. If you guys want to check it out, it's in the link in the description. Uh, I'll post it there. And so basically, what, so there are different mix-ups that you can go from um, Mantis Stand. So... One, one, three, which is a uh, which is neutral on block, and you can you can go into like many uh, plus moves. Of, for example, one plus two, which gives you plus six on block, so you can pressure a lot, especially near the walls and stuff. So four, four, three plus four, really good way to get in in an opponent. Uh, another good way to get in an opponent, um, as I said, four, four, three plus four can be sidestep, right? 
So if, if you see the opponent sidestepping 4-4-3 plus 4 a lot, or if they're sidestepping in general, try doing 4-4-4. Four, four, four. It's a homing move, it's a homing screw move, it's uh, minus 8 on block I believe. Yes it is, it's minus 8 on block, it's 17, it's safe. So, but keep in mind that if they try to jab or something in mid, it can be floated. Sorry, that's not the move, this one. It can be floated. So basically when you do that, the is kinda in the air, so it kinda uh, acts as a mid-air uh, attack or something like that. But 4-4-3 four, four, plus 4, 4-4-4-4 four, 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 four is a good move to get in a sidestepping opponent, which is also a screw move. And if you even if you do get a screw move, you can do many options, which I will show you later on. So I'm just going to show you how to get in an opponent with uh, Jin blocking, so you guys can get a good idea of it. So four four uh, four four four, good move to get in sidestep sidestepping opponent. Four four three plus four, really good move to get in as well. Uh, another good move is uh, another good homing move is four four two. So four four two. Plus one on block, right? 15 frame startup. Plus one on block gives massive pushback. But keep in mind, it's a high. It can be ducked, and if it's ducked, it can be launch punished with characters that are appropriate appro have appropriate launch punishes from uh, Crouch or yeah, like Jin for example. His uh, Wild Rising 2 can launch Safina, but in most cases, uh, if you time, if you execute 442 in a way that people. Uh, are not able to block it. it's a really good move to pressure so 442 really good move so those are the three key moves that i use to get in an opponent 442 not too much uh, i use 442 rarely so for example if um, so say if i jab with a 10 frame jab right and I, I sidestep wait for a while 442 or immediately 442 and what the good thing about 442 is that let me show you let me show you uh, let me actually show you hold on uh let me keep this on where is it? Ground crit. So, it's a screw move, right? If this hits, it's a screw move and it gives you massive damage. So, 442, 442. Oh, that's not it. Oh, you the first. You get what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this combo for you guys. Hold on. 442, 442. There you go. 78 damage off out of 1442. Insane, right? What 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 else could you want? And then you can get a lot of mix-ups from there and stuff like that. But yeah, so the two key moves that I use is 444. So then when I said the 444 was screw move, so it acts like this. No, nope, that's not the one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I think you gotta be a little bit more higher up in there. Nope, that's not it. I swear I get this. There you go, look at that. So it's a screw move and basically homing move, safe on block, good to use. Uh, <clears throat> let's put let's put Jin back on standing guard so that I can show you guys the other moves. So that's it for how to get in an opponent. That's how I basically get get in an opponent uh 443 plus 4 444 442 really good moves right uh <clears throat> let me know what you guys do to get in an opponent if you play Zofina and stuff like that uh, okay so if you're in range zero so if you're starting off right like this if you're starting off what do you do what, what is the best way to get in uh, how do you, how do you start around so if you want to start around pressing a button i suggest using down one one it's a 12 frame it's it's minus on it's punishable block, but hear me out. People don't mostly go to punish it. A good good veteran players do punish it, but mostly on the low ranks until like say Raijin or Raijin. People mostly fall for it, and for 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 down forward one one. Down forward one one is minus stolen block, right? But here's the good part about it. When you do down one, you can delay it, and if you delay down one one. Let me show you. If you delay the second hit, it's counter hit, and you can get combos from that. Pretty sick, right? But you, you got you got to see how you uh, how the opponent plays. Uh, figure him out, and then only try to execute down one one. Otherwise, it's risky. So it's it's basically high risk high reward with down one one. But if you want to start at round, people most it. 
It's a 12 frame, but people mostly press buttons to get in, so people mostly get hit by this. I, in low rank, they, they actually do get hit by it. That's that's how I do it, at least. That's how I experience down 1 1. Let me know how if you guys figure it out different. Okay, next is her poking, right? So, say you're backdashing, right? So, you're backdashing, and the opponent is con constantly chasing you. Like, he, he, he is really impatient and he's chasing you. So, he's, he's running towards you like that and stuff like that. So, what do you do? to make him stop or what do you do to just keep some space between between you so you can backdash more and do some other crazy stuff yeah. this is where down forward one comes in really handy it's 13 frame plus seven up oh, it's not i don't think it's plus seven that's on counter i believe well it is plus seven sorry my bad uh so plus seven on hit down forward one it is safe I think it's safe. Yeah, it's minus five for block. So downfall one is minus five for block, which is safe. But if you do downfall, uh, if you, if you do downfall four, downfall four is also safe, which is minus six on block. So it's one one frame difference. But keep in mind, downfall one, downfall one four. The four is a high, so that can be ducked and that can be punished. But what do you do if you want to mix it up? So downfall one. This is where downfall one two come comes into play, right? So she has different different options to go through. So uh, I suggest you use downfall down, only downfall one to keep the opponent in check to see what he's gonna do. If you uh, even on block, let me show you. Show you what I mean. So you see that minus five, he can't punish it, and it's thirteen frame startup. So. I'd say do down for one to keep in check, but if you're back, if the opponent is back towards the wall, down for one four is a really good move because it wall splats, right? It down for one floor, uh, down for one four wall splats. If the if down for one doesn't, uh, if they block it, people don't mostly expect this to come out and they get wall splatted, and then you can do insane wall damage and shit. Uh, yeah, keep, also let me remind you that I've also made a video uh, regarding uh, wall combos. Uh, general combos and I'll link them in the description just check it out if you guys want to see some Safina stuff but yeah this, this is some basic stuff that I'm just showing you guys that I mostly use as to play as Safina so down forward 1 4 really good move to use which is safe and really good to keep the opponent in track when back dashing or doing anything in general to be honest uh, next we have up forward 1 up forward 1 is a really good tool to have if uh say once you do down for one do this right so plus four on block it gives you a lot of pushback uh it, not not a lot of pushback it gives you kind of pushback but it's plus four on block so it's got major plus frames and then you can either mix it up with uh down three or anything of that sort so one uh, one three and anything yeah so basically uh upward one it's a move it's a really good move for uh, pressuring the opponent but it's not something that I use often but it's it's a move that I use but it's a move that I use to sometimes put the opponent off guard so upward one which has really good plus frames now plus four it, it always had plus frames uh, which is, is a really good move to use trust me you might think um, uh, you might think that I do not know what I'm talking about but I really do know what I'm talking about it's just that I can't sometimes put it in words but hope you guys can bear with me uh, but if you have any questions let me know in uh, let me know in the uh, comment sections and I will answer them every time um, but yeah up forward one plus four good to pressure the opponent um, down forward one just to keep the opponent in check really good moves to start up down one one you can even delay the uh, one to give you a counter hit to keep the uh, to put the opponent off guard again so that's how you that's how you get that's how you get in with a close range opponent. But if you want to get in another good way to get in with the opponent, this is mostly how I get in. This is the, so apart from all the three moves that I showed you, this is the most commonly move used by all the Fina players basically. And uh, I've become a big abuser of it now. So it's down three, right? So down three is plus four on hit, which goes into Mantis stance. So in Mantis stance, you can get insane amount of shit. So like one, three, one plus two, then one plus two go, one plus two can go into like the tarantula stance, then down one plus two, tap up. So many mix-ups you can do. Sky's the limit with Safina, man. Uh, I cannot stress enough how 
actually is easy, but not that easy to play with. Uh, some, uh, but if you get to know how to play with Zafina, it's fulfilling. It's fulfilling. But yeah, that's that's basically how uh, I get in close range, and I've showed you how I get in uh, low ranges. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else you guys want me to uh, show you. So basically, let me see. Oh yeah, and another I forgot another move that I uh, mostly use to get in. So if if sometimes uh, four four three plus four or four 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 does uh, sorry four 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 doesn't work. Something wrong with my four four. It doesn't input. I'm using I'm playing it on the controller by the way. So sometimes the inputs are kind of iffy. So um, if those two moves don't wo uh, work sometimes, what I do mostly is down two four three. So what happens is let me show you. Uh, let me put this on counter hit, right? So down to in itself is a counter hit move, right? But and then you can get a follow up like this, for example. But when you're playing online, your brain doesn't register that you have to stop at down to. Then you gotta press all three buttons. But here's the good part, right? S since uh, down three four down four three has a ex has an extension. Down two four three has an extension. Uh, you can do this. So if you get a counter hit with down two, just keep on hitting this. It's gonna give you 36 damage nonetheless. It's gonna hit guaranteed. Uh, but if this whips and if this hits, it's a natural launcher. So you can get combos out of it. But keep in mind, if all those three strings are blocked, it's minus 14 on block. But don't worry, don't worry. Here's the best part about it. From this from this move, you can go into two, st uh, two stance transitions. Amazing, right? Two stance. You heard me right. Two stance transitions. Two. So, how to get in two stances? For example, if you want to get in in mantis stance, all you got to do is down to four and leave it. Do not press anything after down to four, and she automatically goes into uh, mantis stance. And now, if you want to go into tarantula stance, same input, but this time just hold down, and then she goes into tarantula stance. So these are the two stances where you can do stuff from. Insane mix up potential with Zafina, man. I, I cannot stress you enough how people get caught off guard by this move. Oh, speaking of getting caught off guard by moves, let me show you this, right? Um, this is one of the moves that uh, most players get hit by, and it's a wall bounce as well. So, 4, four, two, um, four, two 3, 4, right? People only expect you to do this and then go into stance. But they, sometimes they don't expect you to go this. You, I, I cannot tell you how many people have fallen prey to down to four, two, three, four. It's insane. Even high-ranking players, this move has caught people off guard by so many times, man. It, it's insane, and it's a wall bounce as well, which is free. So if you're, if, you, if the opponent is uh, near a wall, just just leave it. Just do this, dude. I cannot tell you, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I cannot stress enough. People have fallen to this so many times, so many times. Let me know if it happened to you guys as well. But in my experience, hell a lot of times. Uh, actually, I haven't seen what it is on block, to be honest. I'm, I'm playing Zafina for a while and I haven't seen what this move is on block, but I know it gives you a push, a major pushback as well on block. So I believe it's safe. Let's see. It's minus 18, but it's got pushback. Right, you got so much pushback and it's safe, so don't don't worry, throw this out. If you're near a wall, if the opponent's near a wall, just throw it out. And <clears throat> so yeah, that's 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 one of the moves that uh, that I some of the moves that I used to get in with Zafina. Since we're on the topic of um, Zafina's move sets, uh, when I was streaming, people have asked me how do I get this move consistently, right? So back one into one plus two. It's it's her uh, it's a 56 56 damage just frame and it's mostly used for combo in this as well. So let me show you some of the combos like uh, an easy one. Bop, bop, bop. 61 damage that's mostly used for her um, combo enders. So people ask me how do I get it consistently? But some for you veteran Zafina players or people who have practiced with Zafina a lot may know this trick already. But what I do is uh, <clears throat> back one and just tap one plus two, right? So let me show you. 
keep on tapping one plus two you get it consistently so back one just tap one plus two here's a quick tip uh for me how i get it easily is because i map my buttons so since i'm playing on the ps4 controller i map y1 plus two on the r1 and three plus four on the l1 so i have two button maps and the other two r2 and l2 i use for grabs so i keep some basic uh consistency in the button mapping so if you guys are having trouble uh try to button map your uh try to button map your moves so that you can get it consistently so back one one plus two so you can here you don't have to mash it here you just have to wait because sometimes mashing here doesn't work so the mashing remember mashing only works in combo enders right so here's what i say you do uh back one sorry so you if, if you want if you if you want to do it as a whiff punisher this can be a really good whiff punisher as well but if it's blocked it's punishable it's highly launch punishable so just it's minus 14 i believe so uh, just be careful with it if you want to throw it out in the open so back one wait for it and then one plus two right but if you do it in a combo just tap on uh, one plus two right or uh, r1 in my case it's r1 because i have it button map from r1 that's how i easily do it so that hope that helps for you guys to get back one plus two or just frame move consistently. Yeah, that's 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 all I uh, mostly use to get in from Zafina. But if you want to see, uh, okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Since we're on the topic, anyways, let me show you how I get in with loads, right? So as I mentioned before in the in in in, in minute before, so down three is a really good move to get in from lows and to get into stands to do different stuff. So one three. Uh, you, you can cancel up. You can cancel Zafina's stance. Some of Zafina's stances by holding back, right? So to hold to cancel Zafina's stance, you just need to hold back in certain cases. Uh, so I've I've even made a video uh, showing how to cancel Zafina's stances on what on which stances she go, goes into and which stances she can cancel out of. So I'll link that in the description as well if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, uh, down three. Uh, so 4-3 is a really good move to get people of guard. This move also hits low rank opponents most of the time. Low rank opponents or beginners most of the time. Easy way to do massive amount of combo. Let me show you one example. So boop, 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 boop. See that? 84 damage just for that combo. It's insane man. It's insane. It's easy to do. You, you might think this is hard but it's easy to do. I've, I've, I've shown, I've explained how to do these combos in, the, in my previous videos. Uh, again, I'll link them in the description so you can you can check it out. And yeah, that's one of the ways that you can get into load. You, dude, li listen to me. There, there are different ways on how you can uh, execute this character and how you can level up Zafina in your own way. Like think of Zafina as or any character that you play as an RPG character. That's how I mostly envision it. And to level up a character, you need to find ways that you you are good at, right? You don't have to copy other people on how they do it and how they not do it. Find your own ways, see what's consistent for you, uh, even if it's less damaging. If it's consistent, if you have good movement, if you have good patience and, and any of the fundamentals, you're set, right? Don't listen to anybody else. Find your own way and do it. The way of the Bushido. Is that is that something? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's that's basically how I do it with Zafina. But if you guys have any more questions, if you want me, if you want me to make a part two uh, of how you want uh, Zafina to be played in depth, let me know in the comments below, and I will make that for you definitely. So that being said, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. Peace. Legends never die.